Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to unwrap almost any model in 5 minutes in Maya. Unwrapping UVs just means taking the surface of a 3D object and converting it to a 2D coordinate system. As you can see here. So you can see that the cube is a six-sided three-dimensional object and you're taking each side and translating it to a 2D coordinate system, which in this case are UVs. Now, I will break down unwrapping UVs to five key steps that will allow you to unwrap most models you create. This is what I use professionally and personally to unwrap nearly 90% of my models. So with that, let's get started. All right, so here we are in Maya. Right now, we just finished modeling our character and we wanna get into creating UVs for texturing. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and essentially just hide these groups that I don't need. And I'm gonna be focusing first on this hammer. So let's go ahead to the top where it says UV, open up UV editor. So you can see you're gonna get the UV editor window, which is the UV uh, coordinate system, and then the UV toolkit. I typically keep these things together, these panels together. So I'm gonna left click and attach that right to my UV editor. Then for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna go ahead and dock that right here on the viewport give myself a little bit more room and we'll, we can go ahead and start. So the five key steps are as follows. Create a blank slate of UVs, select your seams, cut your seams, unfold, and then lay them out. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a blank slate. What I typically do is go to edit, delete. And what that does is simply delete any UVs. Maybe you had a messy UVs and a messy object. And right now this just gives us a clean slate. Then what I'm gonna do, as you can see, is select the object, go to create, and then just do camera based. And that will generate new UVs, which is exactly what we want in this case. Camera, ba pa camera based works fine because that will give us all of these UVs combined as one object. Then comes the next step, which is selecting the seams. So I'm gonna hit Control-1 in 3D, and then I'm gonna select my seams. So your seams are gonna be kind of natural places where you want the materials or textures to be different. Let's say it's one combined object and there aren't natural seams. Well, you're gonna do the best that you can to hide them. Now, visible seams, uh, on the objects aren't a big deal anymore, especially with texture painting. So, but we at least want to minimize it the best that we can. So what I want to do now is select this edge loop. So I'm actually going to select the furthest edge loop back. I'm going to go to our UV editor and you can see I have cut and sew, unfold, arrange and layout. So I'm going to kind of expand those out and then I'm going to simply hit cut. Now, if I hold right click, switch to UV, you can see now if I double click, I've essentially created a seam which separates these two objects into two separate shells. Now that I have two separate shells, I can select the cap of our hammer, go down to unfold and select unfold. And there you go. So we're essentially gonna use that to unwrap the rest of the hammer. So that means I can go back to the other side of the hammer double click this edge, cut the UV, select the UV shell. So I can separate them like this. Bring it down and then unfold. And then now we have the rest of the hammer. Now for the rest of the hammer, what I can do is I can go over here down at the bottom, double click this edge that I just want to run all the way underneath the hammer. And then what I can do is hold control and left click marquee select to deselect the edges that are on my uh, hammer caps here, okay? Then once I do that, now you can absolutely use these tools, but to speed up your workflow, I like using shift, right click, cut. And once I cut, double click that shell, unfold, and there you go. And now if we take a look at our UVs, you can use this to look at the UVs in 3D, you can see we have nice clean squares. If we didn't, if they were maybe scaled too high or too skewed or something like that, that is a real problem. But since we use unfold, no matter what we do to these, these UVs, it'll always come back to a nice even distribution. 
So now I can just use that workflow on the rest of the hammer. And if I wanted to, I can go back and maybe select the handle of the hammer, control one to isolate that and press one on the keyboard to exit smooth preview, just in case you have smooth preview and then go to create. So you can see the UVs here. I should delete UVs, create camera based oops, by selecting the object, go right click, select object, create camera based. And then now what I can do is just like the hammer, I can slice off these caps here and same thing here towards the bottom. Maybe I'll do it right up onto here so I can keep this kind of maybe as a separate material when I'm texturing. Hold shift, right click, cut. Then what I can do is add that seam to split this hammer. So we can see looking at it from the front here, this is the front. So I'd want to maybe add the seam running behind. Okay. So I can double click this edge. So it'll select this running up and down. Then I can control left click, deselect it where I don't want those edges. Control left click, control left click, control right click, cut. I've split that in half or added that seam. Hold right click to switch to UV mode, select your UVs, unfold, and there you go. Now we have multiple objects here and we can go ahead now and that last step you may be wondering about is I can select the hammer handle and the hammer cap and then use layout. So I go down a layout, then you can see it automatically packs it. All right. And that is the key techniques that I use to unwrap all of my assets. So what I'm going to do now is just use that same workflow to unwrap the rest of the assets. So that was a five minutes. Uh, and you can continue to do that over all the assets that you have in your scene. So I'll capture that, add it in the video, and I'll go into further detail in the next video. So if you guys appreciated that, uh, I always appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe down at the bottom. And let me know if you got any questions. Hopefully this was helpful. All right. Thanks, everyone. Take care.